Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel Hub. In this video I will show you how to calculate your UK income tax in Excel. The UK income tax system is based on a progressive system, meaning that if you earn a higher income then you must pay a higher rate. I've provided the 2020 to 2021 UK income tax bands over here. As you can see, if your taxable income is 12,500 or lower, then you will pay 0% on this income, as this is known as your tax-free allowance. If, however, you earn, say, 36,000, which is between 12,501 and 50,000, then you pay 0% on the first 12,500, however, you pay 20% on the remaining 23,500. The same principle applies to the higher tax bands as well. It is also important to note that your tax-free allowance drops by £1 for every £2 that your adjusted net income exceeds £100,000. Therefore, if your net income is £110,000, then your tax-free allowance is only £7,500. What we want to do in this video is create a calculator which allows you to see how changes in your taxable income impact your annual and monthly tax payments, so that if we change this figure over here, the outputs update automatically. First, we need to calculate the difference between the taxable income and £100,000 in order to adhere to this rule here. However, when the taxable income is £36,000, which is below £100,000, the difference will of course be zero, as the rule only applies when the taxable income exceeds £100,000. We can write an if statement to reflect this. So if the taxable income is greater than £100,000, then we do want to find the difference. However, if it is not greater than £100,000, then we want it to return zero. Therefore, when we change the taxable income to a figure above £100,000, we can see that the difference is calculated. Next, we want to calculate the deduction in the tax-free allowance if the income is indeed greater than £100,000. Since the allowance drops by £1 for every £2 that our income exceeds £100,000, we need to divide the difference by 2. However, we need to ensure that the deduction does not exceed the tax-free allowance of £12,500. So if the difference divided by 2 is greater than £12,500, we want it to return £12,500. If, however, the condition does not hold, then simply calculate the difference divided by 2. This way, even if our taxable income is above £125,000, the deduction is capped at £12,500. Next, we need to format this table here into a format that Excel can understand, which consists of only numerical values and not text. Firstly, let's input the taxable incomes. Here, we need to ensure that we subtract the deduction from the taxable incomes to account for incomes above £100,000. So first, we have zero. Then we have 12,500 minus the deduction, 50,000 minus the deduction, and finally 150,000 minus the deduction. The reason these taxable incomes do not match the ones provided in the table is because our taxable income is 130,000 pounds, which is greater than 100,000 pounds, and therefore we're accounting for this rule. If, however, the taxable income is below £100,000, the taxable incomes match the ones provided in the table. Before we calculate the tax payable for each taxable income, let's add the tax rates which are given here. So we've got 0%, 20%, 40%, and 45%. Finally, let's move on to the tax payable. The tax payable when our taxable income is £0 is, of course, £0. The amount payable when our income is £12,500 is also £0, as the 20% tax rate only applies when the taxable income is between £12,501 and £50,000, not when it is £12,500. The tax payable when the taxable income is £50,000 is slightly trickier. Firstly, we take the tax payable in the previous band. We then add this to the difference between £50,000, which is our taxable income, and 12,500, which is in the previous band, and also subtract one because of what I mentioned earlier. We then close brackets and multiply this by the applicable tax rate, which is 20% for an income of 50,000 pounds, as it is between 12,501 and 50,000. We can then simply toggle this formula down to the cell below 
to provide the tax payable for an income of £150,000. Next, we can calculate the intermediary calculations and outputs. As a reminder, our tax payment is the amount payable in the previous tax band, plus the rate of the current tax band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. We can find each of these using the VLOOKUP function. To find the amount payable in the previous tax band, we type equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up the taxable income of £36,000 within the table we just made, and we're looking to retrieve the value in the second column, which corresponds to the tax payable. So we type 2. And finally, we want it to be an approximate match, so we type 1. The reason we want an approximate instead of an exact match is because our taxable income cannot exactly be found in the taxable income column, and therefore we want Excel to look up the next best value that is below £36,000, which is 12500 To find the rate of the current tax band, we once again use a VLOOKUP function. The only difference now is that we're looking to retrieve the value in the third column, which corresponds to the tax rate. The amount payable in the current tax band is £36,000 minus £12,500, as this is the taxable income in the below tax band. So we firstly take the taxable income and then use VLOOKUP to retrieve £12,500, which is found in the first column of the table array. We are given 23500 which is indeed 36000 minus 12500 Next, we can calculate the annual tax payment, which is the amount payable in the previous tax band, plus the rate of the current tax band, multiplied by the amount payable in the current tax band. The monthly tax payment is simply the annual tax payments divided by 12. So for a taxable income of £36,000, our annual tax payment is 4700 we can now check whether our calculation works for an income of £110,000, which is above £100,000. The amount payable in the previous tax band is £7,499, which is correct as shown in the table. The rate of the current tax band is 40%, as our income is between 50001 and 150000 Finally, the amount payable in the current tax band is 65,000, which is indeed 110,000 minus 45,000 after adjusting for the allowance rule. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.